Hi everyone, Mike here with uh, July 2018 Etsy sales update. As you can see right off the bat, 35 orders for July 1st to July 31st. Uh, total revenue amount is $633.13. This is uh, about where June was uh, when July started. Uh, it started pretty aggressive, and I thought that uh, there was going to be a bit of a jump in sales uh, compared to June, but that wasn't the case. I think the numbers are about the same. But compared to May and April, sales have almost um, doubled. As you can see here, there were uh, one, two, or three orders uh, pretty much every day. There was a bit of a gap here, and we'll look at why. And then uh, there was a big order, I guess, of uh, two orders but multiple items, and uh, that was the biggest one, revenue, $82 for that one day. Let's see the source uh, of, uh, of traffic for these listings. Now, as you can see, uh, this is the total, uh, total number of visits, uh, just a bit over 2,000, 54% directly from Etsy, uh, direct traffic, 32%, and then external search and social media are the other about 13%. Now, Etsy is doing really great. Uh, as you can see, and th this has been hovering around actually just around 50. This month it's jumped up a little bit, a few percentage points, uh, which is really good. And uh, we'll actually talk about this in a bit because uh, I'll go over Etsy promoted listings and see how that's going. The total number of views compared to number of visits is, is just about half, uh, total number of views 4,557 and, and again as, as I mentioned just a, a moment ago 2,181 visits. I'm actually really really curious about, curious about this, I'll, I'll do some uh, detailed analysis to see uh, what made the uh, visits spike that day uh, because if uh, if, if there's something that I can actually get out of this and, and kind of mirror and copy the activity for that day, I would love to because uh, I mean to have those kinds of numbers uh, on average would be great. Okay, let's see what we have here. Google Shopping. Google Shopping ads, I am uh, sticking with $3 a day. Now, if you've uh, watched any of the Etsy performance videos, uh, you remember that my Google Shopping ads have still not turned a profit. Uh, however, there's been a huge uh, increase and improvement in uh, not only uh, impressions and clicks, but also orders. Now, as you can see here, the cost of uh, these ads, and again, I'm running $3 a day, cost $96, revenue $101. So once you actually subtract product costs from this and everything, I'm, I'm, I've lost uh, some money here. But the fact is that uh, Google ads are slowly improving to the point where I'm actually, the, the revenue to cost ratio is increasing. But again, uh, when you look at profit, it's, it's not there. Let's look at this compared to Etsy promoted listings. So let's just quickly uh, read these numbers out so you guys can remember them when I go to the next screen. Almost 14,000 impressions, 242 clicks, cost 100 bucks almost, revenue 100 bucks. Let's compare that to Etsy impressions. Again, keep in mind, this is uh, $10 a day, but let's look at the difference. 153,000, almost 154,000 impressions, uh, 1,200, almost 1,300 clicks. Let's go back to here. So we're talking about 10 times more. Uh, for the cost of $128, in reality, the cost is about 30 bucks difference, 32. 
and four times as many orders for almost the same price. Not really the same cost, but I mean 30 bucks difference. Uh, and, and what a huge uh, difference in, in orders and revenue. Now, uh, let's look at some of this. I'm not sure exactly what happened here, why such a significant drop. Uh, again, that's something to, to look uh, to look into, but as you can see here, I'm averaging about, uh, you know, six, five, over here, 7.3 thousand impressions a day, which is great. Let's go uh, to the next screen and look at some of the sales quickly. So what, what happens every month is I run a few sales. I actually it, it, it plan that into my... Uh, price of, of products and uh, because I want to be able to you know run a 10% 15% or even a 20% sale and still make a, a, a fair amount of money and, and profit so for the month of July I've had 29 orders through my sales listings average uh, price uh, order value uh, $23 to 24 which would be, I guess, uh, an average cost of a t-shirt plus uh, shipping and then the total revenue for orders made through listings on sale is uh, $682. Now let's look at some of the, the actual sales that I'm running even, even right now. This here actually let me just make sure what I'm so the uh, the abandoned cart one I actually like this I am I would say every month I, I probably make about a buck let's say or maybe two bucks after my total cost because as you can see here for the whole month of July I've only had one use and one item sold so for example revenue here was 17 bucks my profit was about four to five dollars after subtracting the cost for 15 emails that went out to customers that added something to cart and then abandoned it cost a buck fifty because these cost 10 cents uh, an email so i still made about three bucks that's okay i'm going to keep uh, uh running this sale without actually ever sending the setting the end date uh because uh you never know when it might work and it actually uh, doesn't cost that much. Some of the other sales that I've uh, that I ran here as you can see these are just my my own uh, titles that I put just so I know what's happening so for example 15 off and July 8th I ran that from uh, June 25th eight uses here's the revenue uh, the big one for example that I ran for 12 days is uh, is the one that was also 15 off. I ran it from July 10th to July 22nd. 13 uses, 16 items sold, and the total revenue was about 340 bucks. Anyways, it goes on. Uh, there was a bit of a break there where I didn't run any sales because, for example, not all products are included. Not not all of the same products are included in these sales. So there was a bit of a gap, and uh, if you remember the first original screen, that's actually where uh, the difference is. Let's see if we can actually see that. Uh, so this would have been July 8th, July 9th, 10th. This is when I had uh, no sales running. So as you can see, the difference is huge. Sales work. Uh, so I would encourage anybody that's actually on Etsy to incorporate that into your product uh, sales price uh, so you're able to actually run sales the better the sale um, more actual uh, orders you will get um, and uh, let's just look at the numbers one more time just as a refresher so total number of orders for july 35 total revenue 633 dollars uh, just currently on etsy i've, I've tried uh, setting something up through pattern which is uh 
Etsy's uh, option, I guess, to build your own website. Uh, but since I already have an online store, I, I didn't really uh, see a benefit to it. It was mostly an expense. Anyways, uh, things are going great. Google shopping ads, uh, still learning, still definitely, you know, not earning money, but uh, doing better. Uh, Etsy promoter listings, I will definitely keep using them because they have always worked and always turn a profit. And as you can see here, uh, the actual sales that I'm running, I will continue running them because they work. And uh, once I run a sale and let's say offer something at 10 or 15% off or even 20, uh, my listings are very competitive at that price, but I still turn a profit. And I would say I, I make anywhere from uh, three to four to four, three to four to five dollars uh, in profit per sale. Anyways, if you have any questions, any ideas, any suggestions, uh, please leave a comment below. I will keep doing these and uh, and hopefully they're helpful. Like I said, I, I'm still learning. Etsy is uh, somewhat of, a, of an interesting game to me. So if you do have any advice for me, please leave it because I would love to uh, to do even better. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.